So this is uh, the game of Breakout. And in this game, um, we're controlling the, the bat and the ball, and you have to break through this rainbow color brick wall. So you can see here, after 30 minutes of gameplay, the, the, the system is, is, um, doesn't really know how to play the game yet, but it's starting to get the hang of it that it's supposed to move the bat towards the ball. Um, so now after an hour in, um, it's a lot better, but it's still not perfect. And then uh, if we leave it playing for another hour, now it can play the game better than any human, and it almost never misses the ball, uh, even when it's coming back at very fast angles. So we thought, you know, this is pretty cool, but what would happen if we just left the, the, the machine playing the game for another couple of hours? And much to our surprise, what happened was that the, the machine discovered for itself that optimal strategy was to dig a tunnel around the side of the wall and send the ball around the back, uh, which is something even the programmers and, and, and research scientists working on this project didn't know how to do. We, we only told it um, to get um, the highest score it could. Right. So we didn't even tell it it's got to do a barrier. So you can imagine this. Imagine this in computer form. Yeah. It's just 30,000 numbers. It doesn't even know it's controlling the bat, the ball. It's just another collection of numbers. Yes. So it's got to, first of all, work out what does it control in the world uh, and what in the world gets it points. So it took the first hour to do that. Yeah, first hour to sort of work that out. Uh, and then once it's worked that out, then it tries to come up with better strategies to maximize score. So yes. we haven't told it that it's supposed to break through the brick colored wall. Yes. It, it learns that that's, that's a consequence of getting scores. 